Hello everyone, welcome again. In our previous video, we discussed about MS test attribute. In this video also, we are going to discuss some more attribute of MS test. The attributes are an assembly initialize and assembly cleanup. So before going into the detail of this attribute, let me tell you what is an assembly is. So inside our Visual Studio, whenever I build my project, so it is going to generate a DLL file for us. So if I go to the location of our project, inside bin debug, we have a DLL file for our project. This DLL file represents dynamic link library or in other words, it is also called as assembly. So whenever I use this two attribute with the method, the scope of that method will be in entire project or entire assembly. So let me add a class that is class one. I will make it public and the attribute is test class. Inside this class, I will have public void before assembly method. And inside this method, I will use console dot write line. This is before assembly. Similarly, I will have one more method. And this will be after assembly. And the attribute I'm going to use with this method is assembly initialize and assembly cleanup. I will add one more class class 2 and this will be public test class inside this I will have a test method public void test case 1 console dot right line this is class to test method so I need to use the attribute test method with this now if I build my project so here in the test explorer as you can see here we have multiple classes with their own test method let us suppose I run the unit test one class the test case got failed and the log says that the signature of assembly method should be public static and should take test context as a parameter. So here this method should be a static and this will take test context as a parameter and this is also static. Again I build my project and run this test. So now this time all the tests are passed and if I look at the output so as you can see here the method which which is using the attribute before assembly sorry assembly initialize got executed then our test method 1 got executed similarly here the test, one, test method 2 got executed and here test method 3 got executed but in the end it also executed the assembly cleanup method now let me ex execute this class if you look at the output here also before executing the test method it executed the assembly initialize and assembly cleanup methods and although if you look at the class 2 we don't have those method here neither in the unit test 1 class we have those methods those methods are present inside the class 1. So from here you can say that the scope of these two method that is with the attribute assembly initialize and assembly cleanup will be present in the entire project. So whenever a test class single or multiple test class will get executed they are going to execute assembly initialize and assembly cleanup method and the flow will be before executing any method in a test class it is going to execute assembly initialize method and in the end when all the test class 
have finished their execution assembly cleanup assembly cleanup will be the last method which is going to execute okay and then let us say i have one more class class 3 okay and this class has its own test method public void test and this will be test method and here I will use console dot write line test okay if I build it so again there will be one more class with its own test method and if I execute all of them so as you can see here execution is done if I open the output here so this was the first class which got executed and before execution of this test class it executed the method assembly initialize this was the second class okay then the third class and the last method of third class here we can see the output as the assembly cleanup output so from here you can conclude that the scope of assembly initialize and assembly cleanup will present in entire project okay and assembly initialize will be the first method to execute and assembly cleanup will be the last method to execute okay and the second thing is that they are going to execute only once not as like your test initialize and test cleanup method okay so this is the concept of assembly initialize and assembly cleanup so the order of execution will be first assembly initialize then if you have a class initialize or class cleanup method they are going to execute after that test initialize and test cleanup method is going to execute and after that test method and in the end assembly cleanup method okay now moving on the next next attribute is test category so test category attribute is used for grouping purpose okay let us suppose you have certain test case which you want to execute as a smoke test certain test case you want to execute as a regression test so using the test category attribute you can group them now if I go to our class 1 so here I can group this test case in a category so let's say this test case I want to execute as a smoke test so use test category attribute and here specify the name of your category so smoke now let's say smoke test okay inside class 3 I will again use that test category and again smoke test as a category and here also for two method I have used the category as smoke test okay if I build it so it is done but as you can see here there is the display is as normal means group by class if I want to see the grouping based on category just do a right click group by and select try it so this particular option will group based on category so it has already grouped based on smoke test there are four test case under the smoke test category and when it says no try it that means this test case does not belong to any category okay so if I want to run the smoke test only I can just do a right click and run so using the test category attribute you can group your test case okay so that is done now the next attribute is ignore okay so the ignore attribute is used to you know ignore the any test case let us suppose during the run time I want to ignore this test so I just need to use the ignore attribute with this one okay now when I run it it is going to skip this particular test method so let me build it and run it so as you can see in our test explorer window it has skipped the test method too and this is because of your ignore attribute okay so again the test category attribute is used for grouping purpose you can group test 
in the form of smoke test, regression test using the test category. And if you want to ignore the execution of any test during the runtime, you can use the ignore attribute. Okay. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.